And uh, we have some very special guests in studio with us. We've got the band Horsefly Gulch here. And uh, let me bring those mics up there. And uh, this is uh, um, Adam. Uh, let's start with you. And uh, let's, yes. let's have you all uh, before you play. Uh, we'll have you uh, tell us uh, who you are and uh, what you do in the band. All right. You, you get to go first because I'm going to you the longest. All right. <laughs> hey, my name is Adam Cody and I play drums. All right. That's pretty much it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir? Hello. I am Paul Davidson and I play bass and uh, also do some backing singing and some percussion as well. <laughs> yes, yes. You got a for uh, for those not watching online, uh, you've you've got a uh, what do you what do you call that a, a horse uh, a, a, a horse tambourine? Yeah, I, I don't well, know. Well, you know, it's uh... <laughs> horse head on a stick. That's it. Yeah, a horse on a stick. <laughs> A kind of a kind of a Godfather vibe. Did you uh, did you wake up one day with that and you were like, oh, I'll, I'll put a tambourine on it? <laughs> I woke up. He was looking at me and. <laughs> all right, very good. And you, sir. Uh, you know that, that thing has horror movie written all over it. By the way, it I, does. I think he found it at some yard sale somewhere, and it's going to be going to be haunting the studio for the rest Antique. of it. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, it's, my name is Steve Hadachuk. I go by Steven Scott sometimes, depending on the day. Um, I play guitar and I sing in Horse Flag Gulch. Very good. Well, um, so what we're going to do is these guys are going to play live for us, which I'm really looking forward to. And then we'll uh, we'll take a quick break and then we'll come back and uh, we're going to talk and catch up on everything these guys are doing. But uh, what do you guys? Um, and we'll have to kind of sound check on the fly. Um, but I'm pretty I'm pretty good at that. It it, it ends up sounding uh, surprisingly good in this room, actually. Um, what uh, what are you guys going to play for us? This is a song called Burn the Breeze. Burn the Breeze. All right. Whenever you're ready. All right. I don't love the come down. Puts me back at the start. There must be another way to mend this broken heart. Childhood love of mine My greatest mistake And as I walked away I heard your voice call my name And I hear your voice call my name Let's burn the breeze together Let's not waste any time Let's burn the breeze together And get away this time Oh, 
Fantastic. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. Thank you. I love it. I love it. If you're just joining us, uh, Horsefly Gulch is here with us in studio. What we'll do is uh, we'll take a break. We'll let you guys uh, put your stuff down and get comfortable. And uh, I'll um, while we do that, I'm going to play uh, I'm gonna play an old Mindset X song. What do you think? Sure. Nice. Uh, yeah. What's uh, What should I play from uh, Oceans? I got Oceans pulled up here. I think we're always a fan of Island. Uh, island. Okay. No swears in it, obviously. I don't think I don't so. Know how, much, how much time no. do you have? <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a good 12-minute song on there if you really want to go crazy. No. <laughs> That's all right. We'll go with I, uh, so Island? Yeah. yeah. All right, Island it is. All right, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll talk with these guys. Check this out. This is Island, Mindset X. And we'll explain everyone why I figured out play a Mindset X song. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That is Island from the band uh, Mindset X. And uh, you guys uh, know what happened to those guys? Or uh, you ever see them? No, actually, <laughs> that, that beast is taking a nap right now. It's hibernating, but not dead. I think last time I saw them, they were in Aruba. So. There, there you go. There you Getting go. a tan. <laughs> if, you're, if you're just joining us, we are joined in studio by the guys from Horsefly Gulch. But were all three of you also in Mindset X? At yes. The, at the same? Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, that band was around for a long time. Now, is is does the the new project replace that, or will Mindset X continue in the future I as think well? It's in, in addition to that, I mean, again, you know, uh, after twenty years, it's in hibernation. The Mindset X, yeah. Um, but we're focusing just on the new project right now. But yeah, the old one's not dead. It's just just sleeping. Yeah, the, there actually is an album written too. Right, uh, we've got, oh, no okay. ready to be we've got an album in the can. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. It's oh, no good. Kidding. Kind of a weird story, actually. When when I now that you kind of reflect on it, like, so before the whole COVID thing hit, right? We we were gearing up to write a new album as Mindset X, and uh, then COVID hit, right? So we couldn't get together for a little while, and then by the time we started going back, like a couple of years later, getting back together and rehearsing those songs, we were like, man, these songs they sound they feel really old now because oh. they were like three years old at that yeah. point, right? And we were like. All right, well, we can't just not record them. Like, we spent all this time writing them. Yeah. Um, so we did record them. Right. Um, and we released a couple of them. And then and then we just we just said, it just, it's just time for something a little bit different, right? You, you do metal for 20 years straight. Mm -hmm. I think you are. Uh, Mind Select was never so much this, but locked inside a box of how, what you could particularly do as a band yeah. when you're expected to kind of put out a certain style of music, right? Yeah. And I think we just came to a point where we were like, you know what? Let's try something new. Does um do any of those songs make it into this project, or no. do you do you keep them you keep them completely separate? Completely separate. Yeah. Is is that the plan going forward, or is there a chance of anything kind of crossing I, I over? I think that's the plan. <sighs> yeah, I, I do. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I can tell you from a personal perspective. We've discussed this. I think as a band is not only is it something new from a musical perspective, but I think it's something new that's challenging us. Not to, for me anyway. Not to cover things up with distortion or mm. you know to see if i can actually play something you know cleaner because there's a lot more room for mistakes when people can hear oh yeah you as a three-piece and there's nothing behind it that's dirty or grunty or um into that and I, I i don't think that those songs would fit particularly what we're doing right now yeah um makes sense because to be honest i think the last mindset x stuff was probably the most proggy stuff we've done <laughs> right. so and, and the other thing is the new stuff is is flowing, you know, unlike anything we've done in years. Like we're we're basically writing a new song almost every time we get together. Oh wow! Um, cool. We've been doing this pretty much just since the turn of the the year, you know, and a, yeah. a new year, a new project. Yeah, and we're already on like ten songs. I mean, it takes a little while to record them, but yeah, you know, they're in the set. You know, we can come out and play them live. Yeah, yeah. Another full album written. Right. Pretty much. Right. Wow. So we shouldn't have to, you know, write another 10. We shouldn't have to pull anything, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, uh, our friend uh, Texas Mike, uh, although you might know him as Michael Martineau, but around here we call him Texas Mike. He's in the chat room. Nice. And uh, he says, uh, I know Stephen, uh, a.k.a. the Deviant Music, uh, <laughs> through Ed Murphy and... Uh, and Ellie uh, Murphy, uh, we saw him at Clemento's Pizza in Manchester. No, oh. he was spotted. And you heard that fantastic commercial just about 15 minutes ago, I that, think, didn't we? Not, so. not even. Michael, how are you, buddy? It plays in Maybe. my mind all the time. <laughs> it is catchy. It is catchy. It is, yeah. Clemento. <laughs> people, people get mad at me for singing it, but it really, it really does get Can we stuck steal in that for a, a riff? Well, I, I can't. I didn't write it, so I can't. But uh, yeah, have at it. I, I, I 
cannot imagine under any circumstances where anyone would <laughs> see And we you. also do commercial <laughs> jingles. So. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, now, are you guys playing, uh, playing out a lot with this uh, project? Or? Well, we just did our first uh, show, what, a month ago? Yeah. And then we've got... Right down the street. One coming up in Dover. Down at the Strand. That's oh. a new. That's a new uh, venue for us. Oh yeah, uh, Edgewise is in the chat room, and uh, they just posted a picture of them uh, at the the Strand. Nice. Yeah, uh, that yeah. looks like a cool cool room. It's yeah. It's it's nice because one, it's all ages, and two, it's just to be a beautiful venue. Yeah, I didn't realize it was all ages. That's that's hard to find. It is. <laughs> it is, and that's. It I is. mean, that's important. I think that's yeah. something we've been missing out on a oh, lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Definitely. Um, and is that the show? Is uh, Dust Prophet on that show? As yes, well? they are. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dust Prophet, of course. Uh, I, I used to be in a band with Otto Kinzel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, nice. Chem- yeah. Chemical Distance. So, yeah, they're and they're incredible. Have you guys seen Dust Prophet live? No, we're, not we're yet. Gonna, in a very, couple weeks. very intense. <laughs> it'll be a, it'll be a fun night because they actually asked us. We we talked about this a while back as Mindset X, and we joined the bill as Mindset X. Oh, back you know six <laughs> like four or five months ago, whenever we discussed it. Yeah, and so then. A couple months ago, I, I texted the little chat group, and I was like, hey, I just want to <laughs> let you guys know, we have like a Western rockabilly thing. Mindset X is kind of sleeping. Even though it doesn't really fit with any of the stylistic stuff going on, yeah. can we just change the name? And they were like, yeah, cool, let's do it. So yeah, it should yeah. be a really cool night in music. And I think we've always been about screw the genre. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Yeah. Just get yeah. a bunch of bands together that love what they're doing mm-hmm. and open people's minds to listen to different styles of music, right? And oh, yeah. Always been about that. Yeah. Got a couple other uh, lined up too. We got one right down the road at the Shaskine, which oh. where our, that's where our first show was. Oh, excellent! We'll be back there on the sixteenth of June, I believe. Yep. And then the twenty third up at Area Twenty Three. Oh, okay. That's yep. uh, my favorite new little pl- hangout there. Yeah, because it's yeah. close to me. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, Edgewise uh, says uh, the Strand. I assume it's Chris in there. He says uh, all ages for those UNH kids at the the Strand. Nice. That, nice. Makes, that makes sense. But uh, why, why do you, I hear a lot of good things about Area 23. I've been there, uh, but not for a long time. What, what is, is it? Uh, but everybody's talking about it, not just because they happen to, if they happen to be close, but everyone's uh, giving it rave reviews. Yeah. Uh, Kirk up there is one of the biggest supporters of local music oh. north of Manchester. Kirk McNeil. Anyway, yeah. yes. Yep. Um, you can go in there any given night. There's live music. He's got open mics Wednesdays. Uh, I just saw an incredible band there, um, oh, Dan yeah. Bedrosian and the Secret Army. Okay. He's part of P Funk. Oh, and he's playing. I've interviewed him. Yeah, <laughs> in this in that little room. Yeah, it's mind boggling, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was he was on the show. Uh, it was a few years ago now. It was, nice. It was before it was before COVID, but um, cool. Now, so when when you guys play live uh, with this project, how many songs do you have that you do live? Right now, we've got ten. Oh, okay. That's, right. that's I think pretty we, solid. Yeah, we still only have nine. Yeah, forty five minutes to an hour. Yeah. Yeah, depending on the jam uh, mood. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, Horsefly Gulch in the studio with us, and uh, these guys played live earlier. So if you missed it, you definitely want to go back and check the archive. And uh, yeah, uh, Paul. Uh, all right, tell us the the story. So so again, for for those who are uh, of course uh, m- most most of the audience uh, can't see you ex- except uh, on Facebook or on uh, ninety seven. But you've got. Oh, I'll let you describe it. Your your instrument of choice that you brought today. So so yes. Um, so being a unique band, we decided to uh, try different uh, instruments and stuff. In fact, Steve does a little mandolin here, a mm. little, little banjo uh, there, banjo there, and I was like, oh, I need something, right? <laughs> and. Um, so we came up with the song, actually, we just played, uh, Burn the Bridge. Mm-hmm. And um, there's space in the, middle, in, the, in the beginning. Yeah. And I didn't want to just kind of stand there. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so being Horsefly Gulch, you know, we were out, um, me and my wife, and we were looking for uh, props and stuff like that that we could use. Yeah. And um, this is, happens to be one of them. And what it is, it's, it's one of the old riding... Horses yeah. on a stick that yeah. uh, that the kids used to go around in, and we <laughs> added a, a little tambourine to it, and now you can uh, witness it live. Yes, you know, <laughs> yeah, and uh, you might see somebody <laughs> dancing around with it as well. Does the uh, when when it squeaks, uh, has that made it in any of the songs, or do you just do the? Oh, it, the, oh, it definitely, it, it definitely that, will. That was yeah. the debut. <laughs> there. Yeah, burn the breeze. That was the debut of, oh. of Horsey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. The yeah. only thing it's missing. Is a name, yeah. So we we don't have a name. Yeah, yet if anyone in the horse. chat wants to, 
Ooh. What's the name of the horse? Please feel free. We have a, a contest. Yes, yes. <laughs> the winner gets to name the horse. <laughs> we got a free sticker at the next show. Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Where do you guys record? Because everything, uh, and and this has been the case, you know, not only with this band but with the previous band. Everything sounds really good. Just Thank sounds you. really good. Where Thank where do you record? I, I I assume it's changed over the years, but I'm happy to say that uh, <laughs> this this uh, every Hus Flag Out song thus far has been recorded at our own recording studio. So excellent. Um, <laughs> over the last five or six years, I've been kind of revamping and kind of rebuilding. Uh, that whole thing, yeah, saving here and there, and and buying little pieces of equipment, and figuring out actually how to use it, yeah, <laughs> you know. So I think uh, I finally got to a point where I feel relatively comfortable in in you know releasing stuff to the public, and um, it, it's definitely going to help us out because when Adam is ready to lay tracks, we just throw the mics up and go, and yeah, don't have to go anywhere else. It's uh, beautiful. Not to say that we might. You know, there's still always the chance of, of saying, let's go somewhere else that sounds different or mm -hmm. get a producer behind it or something happens. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah. But I think from a convenience standpoint and from my own personal, uh, holy crap, I can actually do this standpoint. Yeah. It's nice to, to be able to have that. So, yeah, no doubt. Um, has it always been that way? Like, like even with the early Mindset X stuff? Did you guys in, do, in do the it early all yourselves? days? In yeah. the early days, we, you know, we started off probably the first two or three recorded at steve's and yeah. then uh i can't remember the one the first place we went into but drum one downs we did like three full cds there oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. with yeah. uh brian sax yeah. rest, yep. in, peace, rest brian. in peace yeah um and we've also recorded at uh what's jay's oh yeah jay Fidler. metronome yep metronome that, okay. that metronome or oak hill like as he calls it right oak hill and mastered at metronome yeah yep yeah, um, yeah. So we think, you know, at the end of the day, I think we want to try something different, right? And I think, you know, I think every band wants to have a different sound. And mm -hmm. if you stay in the same place all the time, you get bored. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. You know? I and I think <clears throat> we didn't want to do that. We wanted to, like, try to branch out. And yeah, branching out for us was branching in, really, right? And I yeah. think it's it's been great. It, it's been, it's nice to go in my studio at, you know, 11 p.m. and work till 1. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just nice to have that luxury. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, and it's nice to live in an era where, you know, you have so many different options totally. as far as how you record, you know. And, and like we said, we did the original, the first couple of Mindset X albums, we did it at home too. Well, the, yeah, the first one was fun. It was like two microphones hanging in a room, you know. Yeah. And we did this whole concept album with just these two chintzy mics hanging. Yeah. Actually, actually Wait, don't, don't we still use that's the same print. mic? I was going to say, funny story <laughs> one of the, Yeah, one of yeah. the mics I just recently found is a, oh. it's a uh, old Radio Shack condenser with a little switch on it you put a no kidding double a battery in there oh wow and uh, we found that and it still works so like you know let's use it you know we use it as a wow. we use it as a drum overhead in both of those songs no kidding yes. i'll be damned <laughs> yeah. wow that's amazing it still works that's our lo-fi sound that's cool yeah, I, yeah i bought that back when there was a radio shack in west franklin if that if anybody knows the area that was a long time ago <laughs> oh yeah geez yeah uh, there used to be radio shacks everywhere I think they're all gone, right? The, the, Most they completely of them, yeah. So they back yeah. online, I saw, but I don't oh. think you go in these stores. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Adam, when I first met you, um, way back, I was working at Strawberries yeah. on Loudon Road in Concord. Yeah. And I remember you brought in a, a CD. You brought in a CD for me to check out, Liquid Native. Yeah, the, my first band. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That was, uh, now, whatever ended up happening with, because I remember actually going to see you guys live, too, at, uh, I can't remember. Sharkies. The, no, no. Well, I might have seen you there, but I also saw you in Concord. Oh, Chantilly's in Concord. Yes, yep. yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. The good old days when yeah. it was, you know, bigger clubs up there. And I mean, yeah. it's coming back. It is nice. Whatever happened to that band? Um, you know, in the end, it was just like oil and water. You know, like yeah. when everything settled, you know, was, we all just kind of went our separate ways. Yeah. The the singer, I I can kind of still remember him. He was like <laughs> a like a wasn't he like a big like biker dude who. Very intimidating. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was stocky. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I can still picture the cover too. It was a black and white photo. Yeah, and I think you guys might have been at railroad tracks. We, we were on uh, the stairs up at the uh, oh, stairs. Army Corps of Engineers Dam up in Franklin. Gotcha, there. gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Now, after that, was Mindset X next for you after that band? Or? No, I had one more small project that lasted maybe a year. It's okay. called Sick Mystic. Oh, the uh, I mean, name's familiar. Yeah, there is a CD floating around out there. There's maybe like 100 copies in existence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you but, still have that email address, don't you? Yeah, that's still my email. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no kidding. 
Now, what what about you guys? Uh, obviously, you know, Mindset X has been around for a long time, but uh, have there been other projects too well, along the way? Or uh, definitely for me. So, like, <clears throat> I actually was was trying to think about this the other day. So, I have I'm up to like about it's over thirty years I've been playing on the music scene. Yeah, and uh, with my well, can't say my first band, but the first gigging band was Hollywood East, which was out of Manchester here. Oh, okay. And uh, <clears throat> it was a uh, hair hair rock, hair metal, yeah. whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's a cool name, Hollywood East. Hollywood I East. Like that, it, was, yeah. it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I went from that to a, um, a, um, a punk jazz band up in Maine called Pog Soldier. Um, and then some variations of other bands. I started also recording... Uh, the Obe Show, which is a all day experience of music and art and stuff like that. Oh wow! Free form music, so very experimental stuff. And yeah, um, and then before Mindset X, before I joined on with them, I also was part of a um, it was a instrumental progressive hard rock band. I got to think about that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, called Dreamline. And uh, so I remember yeah. Dreamline. Really, I do. Um, did I say, okay, did you ever, uh, now I can't remember the name of the venue. I feel like I saw you. Did you play out a lot with Dreamline? We, we did, actually did a, a good amount of shows. In fact, we we actually played with Mindset X oh, a okay. few times as well. Because I, I, I feel like I saw Dreamline live. I can't remember where, though. I thought I thought I had it, but I remember yeah. Dreamline. Yes. Yeah. 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 I played the show yeah. down at Millie's. It was Dreamline, Mindset X. Yeah. Oh, yeah. might have been there, yeah. Yeah, it might have been that one. Oh, actually, now that you say it, it very well might have been. <laughs> I think it's coming back to me. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. Which could have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Mad Bobs. Could have been or Mad, Mad Bobs, Bobs. Or Mad or, Bobs, yeah. You know, but we played uh, Ooh, down Mad in Bobs. Boston. We played <laughs> Summer's Worth. We actually got down into New York City as well with that band. Yeah. So just all, all throughout the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. Or the um, Northeast, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, what about you, Steve? So I started a band's right out of high school or was part of a band anyway called Salem uh, which was kind of a uh, I guess progressive rock band I guess um, and that did pretty well for a while actually and then mm. Salem kind of disbanded a couple members left we started a band called Sage S-A-J-E which was a little bit out there um, <laughs> but we did we did again pretty well for a little while and then um, and then I think you and I met from a Craigslist ad or something, right? And then yeah, it was, I think it was New England Rocks. It yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, remember yeah. that one? Yep, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. Yeah. He was, uh, you know, bass player and singer, guitarist looking for drummer, and I was the drummer looking for them. And yeah. we got together and we're like, you know what? Let's just start from scratch. New name, new yeah. songs, new everything. Yeah. So I didn't draw any, anything from my past. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to huh. practice at uh, that first practice space was the town clerk of Atkinson's house. <laughs> really? Yeah. Town clerk's basement. Yeah, Linda. <laughs> oh, how'd, how'd you end up in the in Linda's basement? Uh, <laughs> practicing? <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> uh, we I knew a light guy named Gary yeah. who lived in Atkinson who liked Salem, and he was a fan of that Salem Sage stuff. My old past bands, and then we were looking for. a place to practice again and he was friends with the town clerk and she just loved music right oh. and she was all about that oh cool um and i remember many nights 3 a.m trying not to I'm wake them up because there was like the stairs from hell <laughs> yeah i went down there you'd like have to carry these you know back then everything was gigantic oh, and heavy yeah. right so you're like you're trying to do this at three in the morning and you know um but great times they we probably still have equipment in those cupboards <laughs> downstairs there might be some wow. PA speakers down there <laughs> right. if anybody wants wow <laughs> right. um yeah, so it's been a quite an interesting ride. And I think the cool thing about Horse Flag Gulch is it feels like we're kids again. You know what I mean? And yeah. It's definitely all new. Yeah, we're not yeah. we're not super old by any means, but I think from a musical perspective, it's fun and exciting to be able to write new stuff mm -hmm. with no nothing kind of confining you. Yeah. And and the fact that the songs just keep flowing, you know, and that's, yeah. that's from a musician standpoint and an artist standpoint, that's, you don't want to put a stop on that. Right. So of course. I think we're kind of taking whatever the heavens gives us and, and running with it here. So, 
By the way, I've been told in the chat room, uh, Edgewise uh, played with Sage a bunch uh, back in the day. I do remember that. Yeah, I do yeah. remember that. Yep, yep. Wow. So Edgewise, you're 26 too, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're all 26 here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're just joining us, uh, we've got the guys from Horsefly Gulch here in the studio with us. Uh, also, uh, we'll just say hello to everybody in the uh, chat room. I did mention uh, Edgewise in there. And, uh, oh, Steve, I see you're in there. Excellent. And uh, <laughs> Texas Mike, of course, we mentioned earlier. Uh, Melanie La Liberty from the great state of Vermont. Uh, we have Abort7, who is uh, from, of course, uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. There's a lot of hashtags there in uh, Greensboro. It's very interesting. <laughs> now, JFED is in the chat, uh, of course, uh, from the great state of Vermont, and he has a question, and he asks uh, this of all the uh, musical guests. He's kind of shopping around, and I think he's running out of time. I think he has to have this figured out by September. Do you guys play birthday parties? I think we'll play anywhere as, as long as okay. no one throws anything shop at us. Okay. Right. So, yes. Yep. Now, I must. Uh, now, he didn't bring up this part yet in the chat room, but I feel uh, a duty to forewarn you about this before you... Uh, even entertain any such agreement, uh, he will probably invite you. I don't think this is compulsory if you go there and play necessarily, but he will uh, probably invite you to join him in an ice bath. Uh, I don't know how you all feel about that. Personally, I find the idea terrifying, you know, hypothermia, things like that. But apparently it can be very healthy and uh, refreshing, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so uh, just, I'm uh, up for that. Yeah. I would do it. Yeah, if it's 90 degrees, though, after yeah. we're done playing, covered with sweat, I'll yeah. hop in some ice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't understand any of it, but yes. <laughs> All right. There you go. These might be your guys, uh, J Fed. These these might be uh these might be the guys to do that. Um, we'll write a we'll write a song called Frozen. Yeah. Yes. I feel like we're gonna all go home like Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Jenny is in the chat room and says, "Shalom, peeps from Reagan Airport in D.C." Yes, she's uh, flying back from Washington D.C. today. Nice. Hello. Oh, very exciting. Yes. Yes. Hello. Um, so now what, what's the strategy as far as, because, uh, you, you kind of told me this, uh, off air, but what's the strategy as far as releasing new music with this project? Uh, they're coming out one at a, one at a time every, however often. Yeah. Um, as, as quick as we can put them together and get them out, but have them sound decent. Yeah. So we've been averaging six to eight weeks. Um, would like to hit six every time, obviously. Yeah. Um, but we're just going to try and keep releasing songs every six weeks and, and <clears throat> until we don't, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, um, is the idea to uh, eventually have enough that, uh, because I, I've seen a lot of artists do this now where they release a single, you know, like every four or six weeks, whatever it is. And then, uh, eventually those singles at a certain point become an album. Yes. So that's exactly what the yes. plan is. So if you're looking at something, um, particularly like Spotify, right, it, it's, we kind of do the, doing the waterfall release method, right? Which we released the one that got away, which is our first single. Mm -hmm. And then we just released Snake Dance, which you played. Um, and theoretically, Snake Dance is on an EP, right? So you see, if you go on Spotify, you'll see those two songs. And then you'll see those, you'll see three songs in a couple of weeks. You'll see a okay. fourth song. So eventually all that stuff is going to come to fruition and be a full length album. Um, at this point, to be honest, we'd like to do a vinyl run too, if possibly mm. a, a double yeah. a double vinyl album, yeah. because um, as our crazy minds work and the way we've always loved progressive music, um, these songs actually represent a story. So um, one side is from one person's view of the story, and the other side is from another person's view. Oh, okay. Um, so it it. It's a unique kind of concept that we're kind of running with and, and seeing where it goes. So yeah, yeah. Um, any any plans for? I mean, there's a lyric video, I think, right for uh, yep. uh, the one that got away. Any any plans for uh, to do a, a proper like a because yep. it seems like it's easier than ever to to make videos. You know, if you got an iPhone and you can you can do some really amazing things. Yeah, we got um we actually are in the process of uh, of filming a video. Um, what was it? Is it first hype? weekend in June or something? Is it, it with the release, or I think it is. Yeah. Oh right. Well, yes. The next song should come with a video. Oh, cool. Both released on the same day. Cool. It yeah. will will come with a it video. Will. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> are yep. you are you guys making that yourselves? Or are you working with anybody on that? Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Christian Patty. Um, he will be helping us with the production part of it and stuff, yeah. and uh, be doing most of the editing. Um, he's, uh, you know, he, he, he's a 
great friend who loves to take pictures and wants to take it a step further and mm. has worked with um, some video stuff before. Uh, so we are looking forward to having a real nice classic, you know, whatever, whatever it comes out. But, there may uh, be snakes. Snakes oh. or something like that. You never know. Oh. oh video. You is, know, is, is it going to be for snake dance? No, you know, oh. originally it was. Oh, okay. um, and the concept kind of holds true. It, it, it was nice and interchangeable. So, yeah. Um, it, I think the next song I think we're releasing is called The Long Road. And from a single perspective, it's got that thing on it, that thing. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. don't know what that thing means, or if we all knew what that thing means, we'd the all be millionaires, right? But I think right. <laughs> it's, it, from a single perspective, we think it makes sense to kind of put the video behind this particular song. Okay. Um, but in the concept for the snake dance and this, they're actually close to each other in the story. So oh, okay. from a video perspective, it's kind of easy to, yeah. to yeah, make yeah. that change. So. It's funny, I was having a conversation with somebody recently on the show about uh, music videos, and because there are people who, I'm sure you guys run into it, there are people who have this idea that, you know, since MTV stopped showing videos, I don't know if they show any at all anymore, a long time ago, that, that music videos are just like a completely dead medium, and it's uh. like, there's really, if you go on YouTube... There's more, I mean, there's, there's artists, you know, of course, like major artists who have a lot of money. Like if Beyonce, you know, puts out a new album, <laughs> you'll get a video for every single song. There's actually more videos than ever. I, I think <laughs> I agree with you. I think a lot of people don't even know a song is released unless there's a video for it. Yeah. Right. And uh, that goes down. Like when you, even when you say video now, it's, it's reels, stories, mm -hmm. there's, you know, it would, let's not even get into TikTok. Right. So right. <laughs> I, I think. I think videos are more important than probably even the MTV days at this point because that's yeah. that's all people do. We see it every day, right? You go anywhere, people just scrolling through their next thing, right? And that's yeah. that's how it is these days. Um, so we've, as a band, we we even in Mindset X, I think we we were never very diligent about making good videos. I mean, we made a couple of good videos with Amanda. We made two, I think, and I think that's as far as we went. The first we one way back, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Atmosphere had a video, Recorded and then we did Snake Oil with Amanda. in Boston and here and there. So we, we got to get on that bandwagon, I think. You know, yeah. we've learned 30 years later, maybe we should make some more videos. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think you're right, though, that now it's more important than ever, you know, because especially now you, you make a video and then you can share it everywhere. And I remember being a kid and uh, I would, uh, with the uh, VCR, I would record videos off of MTV, you know. And <laughs> I would Betamax. Oh yeah. <laughs> I no, I'm I'm not quite that old. But but I did but I did do the VHS. And uh I mean I remember Betamax. I I know what it is, but uh it's funny that it's actually better quality and yet that's the one that died. But um but yeah, I remember recording videos off of MTV and and hoping that you know my my favorite uh uh, video would come on and I would record it and it was a big deal. And then I'd get really upset if, you know, after a while the tape would wear out yep. and then it's like, oh, I don't have that video anymore. And that song's not popular anymore. They're never going to show it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now, now I'm just screwed. You know, and now in the year 2023, any any music video I've ever wanted to to see, I can just go on YouTube and type it in. It's, it's such amazing. A, such a crazy thing. Like the video, video thing, especially, and there's so many variables with that where like you have to keep in mind like the demographic that your band is kind of aiming for, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously if, if you're aiming for 18, 19 year olds, it's all TikTok, Snapchat and all that stuff. Yeah. But there is still a group, like if you're aiming for, you know, 45 year old, whatever, 50 year olds, I mean, they still buy CDs. Oh yeah. You know? So yeah. you kind of got to find that weird middle ground. You make a small CD run, you're at the same time, you're supposed to be on social media daily and all mm -hmm. this fun stuff. Oh yeah. And you know, if there's any social media managers out there, please give us a call. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is not an easy thing to do. and uh, It's a lot to keep up with. Lots to keep up constantly with. Constantly changing and evolving. And um, yeah. Um, who, who does that? Like, do you guys all just kind of handle that yourselves, all three of you? Or Right or, now, yeah. Right yeah. now, we're just doing it ourselves. Yeah. I mean, Steve does the majority of it, but I'm doing what I can. Paul yeah. and I are doing what I can to pitch in. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, are there any live performances on YouTube? I, I didn't, uh, I didn't There's see. There's one. It's got the first three songs from the first show. Oh, okay. Um, where, who, yeah, who it's, um, that? I actually requested it. So Tom O'Connor's friend there, I, I, re I did request a copy of it, but I haven't got it yet. But there is one that should be floating around YouTube somewhere. Hmm. Um, 
and funny, it has to only, as Mindset X, we always wanted to write an instrumental, and we never did. And then... Really? That surprises me, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. We Every time we wrote a song, we're like, oh, we just, this, this <laughs> needs <the> lyrics. lyrics. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. But then, then we wrote The Outlaw, and The Outlaw was like, this doesn't need any lyrics. So it's the first instrumental we've ever written as a band is actually on this too. And that's oh. actually recorded. It's on that video. So every time I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, like <laughs> we finally did an instrumental. That's awesome. Uh, we have a call. Hi, Hi Matt. It's Gary. Hey, Gary. How you doing? We are, uh, we are short on time, my friend. So I'll just ask you to be, uh, be terse if you would. No, I was just wondering if they would do like maybe uh, NPR's uh, Tiny Desk uh, concerts. Oh, I can imagine you guys on there. We yeah, would absolutely. Yeah, love well, that. Yeah, we actually talked the contact information yeah. for that. Let's, yeah, we just actually it. talked about that last week in yeah. one of our little band meetings. Um, so okay. the answer would be we would definitely be exploring that option, and if we can um, somehow pull that off, we'll definitely promote the heck out of it. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of the good. Uh, they got a lot of good groups and a lot of good people on there, and. Uh, mm-hmm. And they yeah they do and they, they, seems, they you know like I just saw a couple of them and uh, there was. Um, uh, this uh, Latin group, uh, all girl, and uh, they had uh, they were playing with a sousaphone and uh, some uh, some brass and then uh, girls, but they were really good. This girl was uh, nice. she played twelve string and she played six string and she nice. was really good at it. So very very cool. Yeah, and they're not they they but, support all the genres too, which is nice. So yeah, we'll yeah. definitely see what we can do to get on there. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's a good. And uh, yeah, if you guys do videos, maybe you could get Melanie to to star in one of your videos. You know. I don't know who Melanie is, but yeah. he's always looking for something like that, you know. Sure, and her and Jake set up. up in uh, Vermont, you know. Oh yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, have her send us an email on our website, hostflygolds dot com. She's, a, she's a big actress. Cool. Well, yeah. when, huh? well, if you go for the birthday party, she's you'll, you'll she's a sweet there. lady. Too. She's a big actress. So, uh-huh. yeah. Nice. Very All right. Cool. Well, I'll let you go, Maddie. I know uh, I, I talked too long, but I just wanted to put my two cents in oh, on thank that. Thank you very much, Gary. No, no, thank you. No worries, Gary. We appreciate the call. Yeah. All right. All right. And uh, I love Jenny. Tell Jenny I'm so proud of her. I heard her. I'm so proud of her. So absolutely, we'll do. We'll do. Yeah. All right. All right. Gary. All right, Gary. You thank guys you. Have a great evening. You Talk to you later. Well. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Very nice. That was our friend Gary. And um, we are uh, we are nearing the uh, end of the show. So before we run out of time, I want to make sure uh, you mention, of course, where people should go online. Oh, question. Where does the name come from, by the way? Horsefly Gulch. It's a cool name. Well, back in 1982. It was very spontaneous. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We we were on our uh, bi-weekly or weekly little Zoom meeting that we do to try and move things forward when we're not physically together practicing or writing. Yeah. And uh, we were just throwing around ideas, and one of us blurted it out, like, hey, what about this? Yeah, <laughs> it seemed to stick, you know. And plus, you know, it's hard to find a name nowadays. Everything's taken. Right, right. You know, you go on the, you can go on these name generators online and stuff, and come up with some two or three silly words that don't really make yeah. sense together. Yeah, that kind of made sense. Yeah. And there's yeah. actually a horsefly gulch is a place in what, Idaho or Idaho. something, right? Oh, it, no kidding. It's, it's just it's literally yeah. a gulch. It's like in between two ravines. Or we knew oh. it'd be some sort of western vibe because that was the style of music <laughs> we were writing, right? Yeah, where, gulch. Where I mean, not. It's not country by any means, but I think it it definitely pays homage to a little bit of the rockabilly folky stuff, right? So we want something to fit that. And originally it was going to be the Barflies, right? but then there's like there's 7 like, million other oh, bands yeah. the Barflies. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. 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 I bet. <laughs> no matter what spelling you did or whatever, they didn't the matter. The Barflies, yeah. that didn't even work, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right. No, I like, uh, where's Fly Gulch? It's a good name. It's uh, we're pretty happy with it's it. It's memorable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, no, it is. It is. All right. Uh, so, what should people know about uh, where to find you guys online? Keep up with what you're doing. Go to shows. Get your music. All of that. I'm looking at you, Paul. Uh, well, you you do most of the media. I do. All right. So, uh, horseflygulch.com is our official website, um, and I think Instagram and Facebook are definitely the two social media platforms that we're kind of really into at the moment. Um, Instagram will probably be the one that you'll find us on the most as we move forward. Um, we do have a band camp and there is a SoundCloud and all that fun stuff, but I think, uh, Facebook, Instagram, horseflagulch.com are kind of the main places. And obviously at the website, all the links are right up top. So YouTube you too, click. right? Yeah. YouTube, the videos are always be up on YouTube, but I'm not sure how much of a creator aspect we're going to be able to, mm. to play with that. Cause that just takes so much time. And yeah. um, I don't think we chose that, that avenue. But to it go is on YouTube point. music. 
and, it is. and several other, uh, oh, well, all, pretty much all the yeah. platforms. All, all the streaming platforms are on. So if I could give any love out there and I could say if you could do anything for us to help the band out, go on Spotify, give us a like, add us to your playlist, because mm-hmm. um, that's where the three cents a month rolls in. Yeah, that's right. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right. Very good. Very good. And uh, we'll close out the show with, uh, what now, What's is Snake Dance the current single or is it? That's the newest one, yep. That's the newest one. So we'll, I played it earlier, but we'll we'll close with it too. Cool. Uh, great, great song. Thank you. Um, I, I love both of them. Uh, but yeah, this is a, this is a great track. Uh, gentlemen, Adam, Steve, Paul, thank you all so much. Oh, good to see you. Nice to see you. This has been wonderful.